Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yardery. Today we're gonna make this gorgeous egg-tastic spring crochet blanket. This pattern is so great, it is a two row repeat, just depending on what we do on the edges. So it is two rows in the center, but four rows on the edge. There's two different ways to start each of those rows. So there is a really easy to remember four row repeat, which really is a nice pattern, it gives you something to think about, a little something to work on, and it is so fun and easy to do. If you want to follow along with a written pattern, it's available over on my website, secretyarnery.com, and you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I'm speaking in this video. The finished size of this blanket is 31 inches by 40 inches, which is 79 centimeters by 102 centimeters. For this tutorial, I'll be using Karen Simply Soft. It's a four weight worsted acrylic yarn. This is colorway times square. I will leave this linked in the description box down below if you want to use the same colorway that I am. But this pattern is so great. It would also look good in a solid color. You don't have to use a variegated yarn. You can use whatever you have on hand. And then just just use whatever hook size is recommended on your yarn label. I'll be using a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. You will need a pair of scissors and a needle for sewing in your ends, plus five stitch markers. Here are the timestamps so you can jump back to where you left off and let's get started. Grab your stitch markers and your yarn. Start by making a slip knot, any which way you normally do. Shrink that down, pop it onto your hook. And for this pattern, we're gonna be doing any multiple of six plus four. So you can make your blanket any width you'd like. For me, I chained 120 plus four, so a total of 124. But how I did it is I just did sets of 24. So chain 24. One, two, three, twenty-three, and twenty-four, and then pop a stitch marker into that back loop or into that last chain you made. I like working into my back loops just so the bottom of my blanket looks the same as the top of my blanket. And to find your back loops, you just roll your chain to the side, and it is that first back loop right underneath the working yarn. So there's one, two, three. Just pop your stitch marker into that very first back loop right underneath the working yarn. And then go ahead and chain 24 more, pop in a stitch marker, 24 more, pop in a stitch marker until you've used up all of your five stitch markers or your blanket is the width you want it to be, any multiple of six. So now pause the video and keep chaining sets of 24 or sets of six until your chain is the width you want your blanket to be or you have chained 120. When your chain is the length you want it to be, go ahead and chain four more. One, two, three, and four. And now we're gonna work in to the seventh chain. So we're gonna skip six. So I just roll my chain to the side. And again, our back loop is right underneath the working yarn. So that is one, two, three, four. Number five has a stitch marker in it. We're gonna skip one more after. So this is five with a stitch marker. Six is right here. We're gonna work in to number seven right there. So wrap your yarn and into the seventh chain from your hook. Just slide that back loop on and make four double crochets. One, two, all into the same back loop. Three, and four. Chain one, and now we're gonna skip two chains. So I give my chain a little tug. You wanna make sure that little tiny back loop or your tiny stitch right after here, we'd wanna be able to see that one. So there is one, two. We're gonna work in to the third right there. So into the third chain, so skipping two into the third. One double crochet. 
chain one. Wrap your yarn, skip two, so we're skipping one and two, working into the third. We're gonna do four double crochets. So four double crochets into the third chain. One, two, three, and four. Chain one, skip two, so skipping one and two, working in to the third, wrap your yarn, one double crochet, chain one, skip two, one and two, working into the third, right there, four double crochets. So into the third chain, four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Chain one, skip two, one, two, into the third, one double crochet. Chain one, wrap your yarn, skip two, one, two, and into the third, four double crochets. One, two, three, and four, and chain one. So now you could pause the video and keep working along, just repeating this all the way along your chain, and I will meet you when we get to the end of your row. When we get to the end of the row, we'll have three chains left. One, two, and three. We're just gonna work into that very last chain. So we're still gonna skip two, and we're gonna do our double crochet into the last chain. One double crochet to finish row number one. Are you enjoying yourself? Go ahead and hit this button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any more fun content just like this. To start row two, chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Turn your work. Now we're gonna work into our double crochets, one, two, three, and four, and we're gonna turn those into double crochet clusters. So wrap your yarn into that very first stitch, start your double crochet, but leave those last two loops on your hook. Into the next stitch, start your double crochet, but leave those loops on your hook. And into the fourth, double crochet, leave those loops on your hook, and into the fifth. One double crochet, leaving those loops on your hook. So there's a total of five loops. Wrap your yarn, turn the hook towards yourself, pull on those stitches, the last two stitches you made, and slide all those loops off of your hook. Just like that, and chain two. One, and two. Into our double crochet, right there, one double crochet. one double crochet, chain two, and into each of these four stitches, we're gonna do a cluster. We're gonna finish our egg. So wrap your yarn and start your first double crochet, but leave those loops on your hook. Start your second double crochet, leaving those loops on your hook. Start your third double crochet, leaving those loops on your hook and your fourth. So each of our stitches in the row below, each of our starting eggs, we're gonna finish that up into a cluster. So five loops, one, two, three, four, and five. Wrap your yarn, pull on those last two stitches we made to make them slide off easier, and chain two. One, and two. Into our double crochet, one double crochet. 
chain two, one and two, and we're gonna do four double crochets together or a DC four tog up here. So wrap your yarn, start your double crochet, leaving those loops on your hook. Start your second double crochet, leaving the last loop on your hook. Start your third, leaving it on your hook, and start your fourth. Leaving it on your hook, wrap your yarn and slide all those stitches off and chain two. Into the double crochet, one double crochet, so double crochet gets a double crochet for this row. And chain two, we're always chaining two. And when we come to our double crochets, the bottom of our egg, we're gonna make the top of our egg. So every time you see the four, we're always gonna just close those off. So start one double crochet into each of the four stitches, leaving those last loops on your hook all the way along. So you do that four times for each egg. Like that. Wrap and take off all five loops and chain two. So you can pause the video and keep working along, just finishing off our eggs, doing a chain two and a double crochet and a chain two and finishing off your egg all the way along this row and I'll meet you when you get to the end of your row. At the end of your row, we're just gonna be working into this chain. So what we wanna do, you wanna look for the second chain. So if you give it a little bit of a tug, So we wanna be working into this second chain right there. So wrap your yarn and we're gonna finish with one double crochet into the second chain. So right there to slide your hook in, one double crochet to finish. And that finishes row two. To start row three, chain three, one, two, three, and turn your work. Now for our first row, we have our eggs right at the edges of our blanket. So for the next row, we're gonna be doing eggs where our double crochets are. So we're gonna stagger our eggs. So we're gonna start by a little half egg on this side. So wrap your yarn and we're gonna go in to that very first stitch right here. So into the very first stitch, one double crochet, chain one, and into the top of our egg, this little stitch right on the side, we're gonna do our one double crochet. And chain one. Into our double crochet here, in the center, we're gonna start our eggs. We're growing eggs for this row. So into that stitch, four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Chain one, and into the top of the egg, right here, one double crochet. And chain one. So for this row, we're doing a chain one in between everything and we're gonna be growing our eggs. So into our double crochets, our little sticks in the center, we're gonna start our egg. So four double crochets, one, two, three, and four, chain one, and into the top of our egg, just that little stitch there, one double crochet, and chain one. Into our sticks, we're gonna start our egg, so four double crochets to start our egg, all into that same stitch, so there's one, two, three, and four. Chain one, 
and into the top of our egg, that little stitch right at the top, one double crochet. And chain one. So you can pause the video and keep working along your row, doing your four double crochets, chain one, double crochet into the egg, chain one, new egg into our sticks, all the way along, and I'll meet you when we get to the end of your row. At the end of your row, we're gonna skip two of these chains and work into the third. So skipping two, there is one, two, working into the third, right there. We want to make sure we get two strands of that stitch on the top of our hook. Wrap your yarn into that third chain. Two double crochets to finish this row. So there's one and two. And that finishes row three. To start row four, we want to finish this half egg on the side. So chain three, one, two, three, and turn your work. Now in to the second stitch right here, oops, right here, we're going to make one double crochet into the second stitch, one double crochet. Now we're going to be closing our eggs or finishing our eggs for this round. So that means we're going to be chaining two in between everything. So chain two, one and two. Wrap your yarn into our double crochet. We have one little stick there, so we want to make our stick. So sticks get sticks for this row. So double crochet into the double crochet. Chain two and into the top of our double crochets down below into our egg, we're going to close that off. So for this row, we're going to be doing our, we're going to start our four double crochets, but leaving them on our hook. So just finishing off that egg. So there's one, two, three. We're starting our fourth double crochet. So we have five loops on our hook. Wrap your yarn and take off all five loops and chain two, one and two, into our stick. So these sticks in the center, they're not done until we have two stacked on top. So this is just one double crochet by itself. So we have to make that stick taller. So one double crochet into the double crochet, chain two, and now we're gonna finish off that egg or close it up. So wrap your yarn and start your double crochet into each of these four stitches from our egg down below. There's two, three, and four. Wrap your yarn, turn your hook, wrap and take off all of those loops and chain two. There's our double crochet, just one by itself, so we have to stack that up to finish off that stick. So one double crochet into the double crochet, chain two, and now we have our egg started, so we want to finish off that egg. So start your four double crochets into your egg. So there's one, two, three, and four. So five loops on your hook, wrap and take off all five loops, and chain two. Into your next double crochet, make your double crochet. Chain two, and then pause the video and keep working along. Closing off your eggs, chaining two, and doing a double crochet into your double crochet all the way along, and I'll meet you when you get to the end of your row. At the end of the row, we have our two double crochets sitting here at the end, and we want to close those off. So into the first double crochet, this is like our half egg. We want to finish our half egg. So into the first double crochet, start a double crochet, but leave it on your hook. Wrap your yarn and into the top of your chain right here, we are going to do our second double crochet. Just like that. So we have three loops on our hook. Wrap and take off all three loops. 
So that closes off the egg on the side of our blanket. And it also finishes row four. Now just a tip on how to keep track of your rows. There are two rows with just a double crochet on the edge, and then there's gonna be two rows with a half egg. So once you finish your half egg or your two double crochets on the edge of your blanket, you're gonna go back and do just one double crochet on the edge of your blanket. So the next two rows are only gonna have one double crochet on the side, and we're gonna be doing our eggs right there. If you're enjoying this video, hit that thumbs up. So to start your eggs with just double crochets on your edges or your eggs closest to the edge, we're gonna start with a chain four. One, two, three, four. So that counts as our double crochet and chain one. And when we're growing our eggs, there's always that chain one. So just keep that in mind. Growing your eggs, chain one in between everything. Turn your work and we're gonna grow our egg into this double crochet. We have our stick, our two double crochets together. So that's our stick. We're gonna do our egg right on top. So wrap your yarn and in to the top of that double crochet. We're gonna make four double crochets to start our egg or to grow our egg. So there's one and two. Here is three and four. Chain one. Now into the top of our egg, one double crochet, chain one, and into our stick, our two double crochets stacked, we're gonna grow our egg. So four double crochets, one, two, three, and four, chain one, and into the top of our egg, one double crochet. Chain one, into the stick, grow your egg. So that's four double crochets to grow your egg. One, two, three, and four. Chain one. Into our egg, one double crochet, and chain one. So you can pause the video and keep working along, growing your egg, and doing a chain one double crochet into the egg down below, all the way across, and I'll meet you when you get to the edge of your blanket, or the end of your row. At the end of your row, make sure you've done your chain one, and we're gonna work in to the top of that chain. So we're not working into the double crochet, we're gonna go into that chain just to pull up the edge of our blanket. And we want two strands on the top of our hook. Just like that. So pop your hook in, two strands of that chain on the top of your hook, and one double crochet to finish off this row. And that finishes row five. To start row six, just keep a lookout for your edge of your blanket. So two rows, just a double crochet on the edge, two rows with two double crochets, so our egg. So we know we've only had one double crochet here. We know we're only gonna be doing one double crochet for our next row as well. We also can look here and be like, we're gonna be closing our eggs. That means a chain two in between everything for the closing round. So we're gonna do our double crochet and chain two and then close this egg. That means we're gonna start with a chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Turn your work and now go ahead and close up your egg. So start your four double crochets, one, two, three, and four. Wrap your yarn, take off all those loops, chain two, and double crochet into that double crochet. We wanna finish off our stick, chain two. 
So you can pause the video and keep working along closing your eggs and finishing up your sticks. Make them double-decker sticks, and I'll meet you at the end of your row. At the end of your row, chain two, one and two, and we want to finish off our double crochet so we can look again at the edge of your row. Always check when you start and finish your rows. Two rows, just a single crochet on the edge, two rows with an egg, so that's our two double crochets on the edge, and that should be two rows again with just double crochet on the edge. So after you've done your last two double crochets, we know we want to go in to that second chain because we, we did a chain four to start this row down here. So we want to skip a chain and just work into that second chain, two strands on the top of your hook, and make one double crochet to finish just like that. So always keep track of what you're doing on the edges for every row. So that finishes row six. And now here are some tips on how to keep track of what you're doing for your stitches, for your rows, how to start and finish. Always keep track of your rows two rows of just double crochet on the side, two rows of a half egg, two rows of a double crochet on the side, and if that is working along, then you know you're doing great. So double crochets go with an egg right next door, and the half egg goes with the stick and then the egg a little farther in to your blanket. So half egg on the side means your egg is starts in the middle or a little bit farther in, and double crochets mean your egg starts right there. So growing your eggs, there's a chain one in between, and closing your eggs, there's a chain two in between. So that's super easy to do. Just keep track of the edges of your blanket or the edges of your stitch, whatever you're using the stitch for, and you will have no problems at all. So pause the video and keep working along until your blanket is the height you would want it to be. When your blanket is the height you want it to be, chain one, to secure your yarn, cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later, pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug that down to secure. Sew in your tails, and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. If you want to see more of my work, I'm waiting for you in that video right there. And stay hooked.